I think we are just probably months away before we see British casualties in the United Kingdom. And this is the reason why. OK, welcome back to Fast Ship Performance. Then my name is Tim Davies. Who's the doctor they told you to go see, Dr. FJP? And I am back in session, fam. Let's have a read of this then. British soldiers helping fire Ukrainian missiles. Olaf Scholz, the German Chancellor, reveals them. He's been criticised for a flagrant abuse of intelligence that could endanger UK personnel on the ground and help fight the Russians. Guys, I've said it many, many times over many, many months. I am contrarian on the Russian-Ukraine war. I personally believe that Putin had warned us many, many times of what he would do if we had decided to push NATO eastwards. We would not tolerate it if he had an eng engagement or an agreement with Mexico or Canada, but we are supposed to uh, obviously be able to engage with whoever we want and Russia's got to suck it up. Now, this is the result of our Western flagrant NATO-based approach, which is an anti-Russian pact. Yes, I was in the military for 20 years. Yes, I'm a British man. No, I'm not going to talk about any kind of secrets on YouTube. That's not who I am. But we do need to discuss this article because I think it is very important for us, for us all to understand exactly what's going to happen unless we do something pretty quickly. Now, I get told a lot of times on things like Twitter, why am I still using it, that I'm a Putin apologist and I'm not at all, guys. But what I am is someone called a realist. And I do believe in strength. I do believe in power. And I'm not too sure many people agree with me, to be fair. Germany is accused of a flagrant abuse of intelligence after revealing that British soldiers are supporting Ukrainian forces launching long-range Storm Shadow missiles. Now, I flew with the Storm Shadow missile on the Tornado GR4. I know exactly how to target that weapon. I know exactly what range it flies from. I know how, it used, how it's used. I know what it does when it gets to the end stage. I know everything. So I'm not going to cover too much of that now. You can find a lot of it in this article if you want to have a look at it. What I will say is, though, there is pretty much one way this missile can be targeted, and it has to have certain people involved who know what they're doing. And I guarantee those people are not Ukrainian. So when I heard Storm Shadow was out in theatre, I thought, yeah, we are as well. And here's proof that we are in theatre. Guys, you don't realise how dangerous it is. Hit the comments if you kind of understand what I'm saying now. We are targeting Russian troops with British weapons. And we have been doing it for some time, as of the Americans, the French, the Germans, and everyone. I get that. But here's the thing. We haven't really been doing anything other than being in a training capacity. A lot of people will say, well, we are in a training capacity, Tim. We're teaching them to launch storm shadows. The Russians know what I'm talking about. There's only one way you can launch this missile, and that is with specialist assistance. Now, I'm not going to go into any more than that, guys. However, the Germans know it, and we're going to go through what they've said here. So Olaf Scholz and the German Chancellor has said that he would not deliver the Taurus, which is their kind of version of the Storm Shadow, which is quite slow flying, but long range missile. It's got about a thousand pound warhead in it. It pops up and comes inside and it's shape charge, blows a hole in buildings, and then it goes in and detonates inside rooms and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it says, as it would require, it's not going to use its own weapon, as it would require soldiers assisting on the ground, if Germany did this, if Germany put their troops in to assist with this missile, then they would be a participant in the war. And so what he's saying is that UK and the French are participants in the war. It's a proxy war, isn't it? I've been saying for a long time, look, we are fighting in this war. We've got to be careful about doing that. Ukraine was not in NATO. Ukraine was involved in a civil war for a very long time. For a very long time, the government, I do believe, obviously was a CIA-led coup put in Zelensky oh I, I get it we, we can go down the rabbit hole as deep as you want that's not what I'm here for guys all I'm saying is I don't want anyone in the United Kingdom targeted uh, at all and I just think we're getting to the point where that's going to happen I cannot see it not happening if I was going to work now in the British military what well, as many many things I would do and uh yeah I'm sure there's things out there that the guys are doing to really make sure. I'm mean, coming from a, a, an IRA era when I grew up, guys. I'm sure a lot of you out there are the same. Hit the comments. Uh, and we used to check wheel arches. Uh, we used to change the routes we drove to work. We used to do all these things. The time we went in and out of work. There were a lot of things we did to keep ourselves safe. And all I'm saying is I wouldn't be surprised if someone was targeted. So you guys flying these airplanes, throwing typhoons and everything else, you need to be on top of your game right now. Anyone in the military right now needs to be on their game, needs to be switching routes. You need to, it's, you're, someone is always going to get targeted. You just have to make sure it's not you. And that sounds unfair. 
But the truth is, someone is going to get targeted. If you're doing this, which we are doing right now, you are going to get targeted. There's no two ways about it. Absolutely. I cannot see it not happening. I would be like, hang on, what are we doing? What are we doing? We did, we're not in this. We're in NATO. Uh, uh, Ukraine's not in NATO. What are we doing in this proxy war here? Because by doing this, we're killing Russian troops, of course, which we have been doing for a long time. Now, Tobias Elwood, uh, very much an acquired taste, a former chairman of the Commons Defence Committee, said, this is a flagrant abuse of intelligence, deliberately designed to detract from Germany's reluctance to arm Ukraine with long-range missile systems. What Tobias, who is a warmonger, does not say um, is that we've been doing it for a long time. And everyone else has been doing it for a long time. Of course we have. So basically, he just wants other people to be involved as well. Because, of course, it um, basically gets rid of all the guilt, doesn't it? And means that we're all going to go to jail at the same time for crying out loud. So the Chancellor's statement regarding France and Britain's alleged involvement in operating long-range cruise missiles used in Ukraine is completely irresponsible. A senior MP from Angela Merkel's former ruling party, the CDU. Yeah, well, basically they've just said, haven't they, that um, that we are doing what we have not said we are doing, which of course is helping with pretty much the fighting there. And if you, obviously, if you don't believe special forces are on the ground somewhere in a peer-to-peer -peer adversary like this, then you're you're absolutely mistaken. Of course, I'm sure, I have no evidence to say so, but I'm sure they absolutely would be. And I, I let's not go too much deeper, guys. But yeah, there we go. He said on Monday, German soldiers cannot follow their British and French peers in the way of target control and accompanying target control. Uh, the storm shadowed co produced by UK and France. So German soldiers can at no point and in no place be linked with the targets that this system, their version, reaches, not even in Germany. So they won't even do any kind of pre-programming in Germany. Britain's known to provide intelligence on Russian targets. And this is what I just genuinely don't understand. If, if I was Russia, I would have shot down our early warning aircraft. Bang in the Black Sea, international airspace, just take it out. Because the thing about doing that, it sends a message. It says, I know what you're doing with your early warning aircraft is you're telling you're telling all the troops, all the Ukrainians, where all our tanks are, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and you're engaging us. Now, whatever you feel about the Ukraine-Russian war, I feel we just it's, it could have been stopped. Like Johnson went out there, didn't he? Our former prime minister and carried it on at a time when Zelensky was trying to get together with Putin and stop it. Of course, we can't stop it, can we? There's many reasons we're doing this to Russia. We're going to go to Russia, Iran. We're going to, what else we got? Then we're going to China. Of course. I mean, it's. I'm just not that kind of warmonger kind of guy, but I realise that some countries who are heavily in debt, I believe America, every 100 days is accruing an extra £1 trillion in debt. And then you've got to look at the UK and everyone else. I, all I'm saying, guys, is that there's a reason that we're doing all these uh, all these conflicts and uh, pretty much is because everyone probably in the West is bankrupt at this point, aren't they? Just finishing this off then, guys, I'll let you go. On Tuesday, the UK government announced they had a small number of soldiers deployed inside Ukraine, specifying only that some were involved in medical training. We, we can't, it's not like something we could even believe at this point, is it? I don't, I mean, literally, it's, see, this is the controlled release of information. This is what they do. But we did say we had some in there. We didn't say we didn't have anyone. We had some medical stuff. Oh, what, guys doing targeting? What did we not mention? Did not mention the guys doing target. No, we did say. Did we not say the targeting guys? The targeting guys were there. Uh, the guys doing the storm shadow were there. No, we we mentioned the medical. Oh, we missed that. Oh, we've got some targeting guys there as well. You just wait a month. That's that stuff's going to come out. So, um, uh, yeah, the whole thing's absolutely, uh, I think, ridiculous. I, I I I would expect. I mean, Putin. We are. And here's the thing. This is why I get called a Putin apologist. We are lucky we have him there. If uh, he, Putin is. I've I've read so much, so many books on this recently. You wouldn't believe. Uh, hit the comments if you've got any decent books as well on this subject. I think people really, really need to know who we're dealing with in Putin. And without that guy there, this would be exceptionally worse. The most restrained guy in the world, I think. And everything that I'm reading is that his wars are reactionary. If something happens, he's like, right, I'll go and quell that now. Something happens, oh, I'll go and quell that. Unlike the wars from the West, where we'll go and we'll go into Afghanistan because of 9/11, and then from there we we'll go to Iraq. Why? Because there aren't any good targets in Afghanistan, so we're going to go to Iraq. And it's like, what are you guys doing? That's what the West does. I fully understand that, guys. I mean, I was in the military for 20 years, and I sound like I'm one of these lefty-leaning tree huggers, and I'm not. I'm a realist. All I'm saying is this will come with significant consequence, and you just wait until something happens in the UK because it's going to happen. It's going to happen, and then uh, I just want to be that guy that says, look. I kind of warned you. And I want to be the guy that just says to all the guys you used to fly with, whatever, you've got to get on top of this this kind of, kind of counter-surveillance stuff. You know, you just have to make sure you're not that guy being targeted because 
it's going to happen. There's no two ways. If we're doing this, we're fully embedded, obviously, within the war effort and have been for a long time out in Ukraine, guys. And we just literally need to make sure we're taking care of ourselves here on a very personal, very f family uh, orientated base as, as well. I, I would look for a married quarter on the base somewhere. Get yourself behind the wire. This stuff's going to escalate. And uh, and that Jeremy's saying here is like, uh, this is what Olaf's sh saying. It's become very clear that the reason why he is not in favour of delivering Taurus, or this is the other person saying this, is he does not trust the Ukrainians to not use those missiles in a way that does not go against what he perceives as German interests, which, of course, is all the oil and everything else. This is one of the reasons. Look up the liquid natural gas that America produces compared to Russia. It's actually about the same, but, of course, America wants to ship it across into Europe, doesn't it? Whereas Russia was pumping it via the Nord Stream 2 straight into, obviously, Germany was using a lot of that. Uh, and he was saying that he's frightened any of these Taurus missiles could be used in an attack against a politically sensitive target because Ukraine wants to target inside Russia, of course. Understandably so. I'm not saying anything against that. That would drag Russia, of course, massively against the whole of uh, the whole of the West. And, of course, Russia realises that our militaries are very much used to fighting, uh, well, uh, not not adversary armies and russians have just i mean they're not going to give up this is why i said don't go to war with russia on the russian border just don't do it just don't fuck around because you might find out and unfortunately that's what ukraine did i just can't see an end to it and it probably is, is designed not to have an end guys because obviously then everyone gets paid don't they so hope you got your defense stocks in i didn't get any because i'm a decent dude and i don't want to make money out of the death of young men that's all it is all right Guys, hit the comments. Let me know if I'm wrong.